Welcome back to the PHP Essential Training Series. I am Mike King, your host, and in this tutorial, we'll be talking about sorting arrays in PHP. So let's talk about working with arrays in PHP. The elements of array can be sorted alphabetically or numerically in ascending or descending order. And we spoke about arrays a couple of tutorials ago, where we actually went through some demonstrations on how to set them up and what the difference between indexed and associative arrays were. Now we're going to talk about some of the built-in functions that are part of PHP that make working with arrays much easier. So PHP has some built-in functions that make working with arrays a snap. PHP comes with a number of these built-in functions for sorting arrays, and that's what we're actually going to look at in this tutorial. During this tutorial, we'll explore some of the more commonly used functions to work with sorting arrays in PHP. So we're going to work with the sort and the rsort. These are for sorting indexed arrays. We're going to look at the a sort and the ar sort for sorting associative arrays by value. And then we're looking at the k sort and the kr sort for sorting associative arrays by key. And the only difference, by the way, between the a and the ar and the k and the kr and the s and the rs, one is for reverse order and the other one is for ascending. So one's for ascending and the other's for descending. That's why you see two different functions and the only thing being the R, which is the reverse ordered func for that function. All right, so let's demonstrate this in our development environment. So we're going to drop into the development environment and demonstrate what we just talked about. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize our presentation and get into our development environment. And the first thing I want to do, let's go ahead and make certain that we've got our server is up and running, which it is. The Apache server is up and running, especially with working with PHP tutorials. We have to have the server because that is the interpreter of the language of the PHP scripting language. Remember, it is a server-side language. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Let's go ahead and bring up our Sublime Text 3, which will be my text editor for choice for this particular demonstration. And I'm going to load up Google Chrome will be the browser that I'll be using. I actually have my template file loaded, my template.php file loaded, which is a standard HTML5 blank document. I mean, nothing to it. It's just a blank HTML5 document. I've got a heading in here. I'm going to go ahead and change my heading and my title. I'm just going to put in sorting arrays. And I'm going to come down to do my H2 heading the same way, sorting arrays. We should be able to get by with one sheet on this. Let's do a save as. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to save this as arraysort.php. Again, if you have copies of the exercise files, you'll have all these inside the exercise folder. I'm going to go ahead and save all those changes. Let's go back and refresh our local host and then load up the arraysort.php. And you'll see that we've got our h2 heading up there, so now we can actually get into some demonstrations. So the sort functions used for sorting the elements of the indexed array in ascending order, alphabetically for letters and numerically for numbers. So let's go ahead and create an array. I'm going to go below that h2 tag. Let's open up our PHP tags, come down a few lines and close the tags. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and define an array. So I'm going to come right inside my PHP tags and I'm going to define an array of colors. And you'll see I've got four values in the colors array. Let me scroll up a little bit. Four values in the colors array, red, green, blue, and yellow. Good time to pause if you want to type that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and I'm going to sort these colors using that built-in sort function in PHP. So I'm going to come right down below the colors variable that we declared. And I'm going to say sort, and inside parentheses, I want to sort the values inside that colors array. Because you see, we created the array here. We decide, or we designated it as an array, assigned it an array, and then gave it four values. Now I'm asking the sort function to go ahead and sort those values for me. And based on the earlier tutorials that we've done, you, we all know that we can use that print r built-in function inside of PHP to go ahead and display the colors array for us. Because we've used the print R function many times when we were going through the array tutorials earlier in this series. So let's go ahead and save all those changes. Good time to pause if you want to type this in. And then I'm going to go over to the browser, refresh my browser, and you can see now that we've got that array sorted by alphabetically ascending. So I got B, G, R, Y for blue, green, red, and yellow. And the way we entered them was red, green, blue, and yellow. So it actually took all the values of that indexed array and sorted them alphabetically ascending. 
The printout statement gives us the following output, which you're seeing on your screen. And we'll be using the printer whenever we're working with arrays. Similarly, we can sort the numeric elements in an array in ascending order basically the same way, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate next. All right, so we've seen how we can sort an indexed array with alpha characters. Now let's look at how we can sort an indexed array with numeric values. I'm going to go right below the PHP group that we just had. I'm going to add a couple of break tags, and I'm only breaking the group up so we have some separation in our display because these could all be included in that same group of PHP tags, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and open up my PHP element, come down a few lines and close it. Let me go ahead and move these in a little bit. There we go. Now what I want to do is I want to create another array with this one of numbers. So I'm just going to create a numeric array. So I'm going to come right below that opening PHP tag. And I'm going to define an array of numbers, and it's got numbers equal array, and I've got 1, 2, 2.5, 4, 7, and 10. And then what I want to do is I want to do a reverse sort on these numbers, because I actually have entered them numerically where they're in the right order. So let's do a reverse sort on these particular numbers, so we can actually have them in the reverse order. So I'm going to come down right below where I just did that or I just put those numbers in and I'm going to say R sort. I'm going to open and close my parentheses and I'm going to put the, the name of the array inside the parentheses and in this case it's numbers. So I'm actually entering my numbers array. Stop that with a semicolon and then if I want to obviously see what's going on on the screen I can do a print R and then I want to, again with my numbers array because now they've already been sorted because we've actually assigned the reverse sort right here where we performed it. And now when I print it out, I should actually see that reverse sort inside there. I'll just put a little note in here if you're following along. This actually is going to sort and print out my array in the browser. So let's go ahead and save all those changes. Let me take out some of these lines here. Save all those changes. Good time to pause if you want to type this in. And now when we run this in our browser, we should be able to see the numbers come back 10, 7, 4, 2.5, 2, and then 1. So let's go ahead and save all the changes, refresh our browser window. And you'll see now we actually have that reverse sort. Go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So we can see both. You'll actually see now that we've got in index 0, we have the 10. In index 1, we've got the 7. In index 2, we've got the 4. And it's actually just looking at the numbers in reverse order. All right, so let's change it up a little bit. Let's make it a little more interesting. What I'm going to demonstrate this time is sorting an associative array in ascending order by value. So the asort function sorts the elements of an associative array in ascending order according to the value. And remember now, associative arrays have key value pairs. We have a key and a value. It works just like the sort function, but it preserves the association between the keys and its values while sorting. And that's very important when you have associative arrays. You don't want to break that link between the key and the value because obviously if you break the link, your associative array is, isn't worth a toot anymore. So the first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and open up our PHP tags. Come down a few lines and close that PHP tag. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put in my break statements. I'm just going to do it a little bit differently this time. Because I like to change things up, let you know there are different ways to do the same thing. This time I'm just going to echo a couple of break statements to give us that gap between the last demonstration and this one. And then what I want to do is I want to define my associative array. So I'm going to come down right underneath that echo statement. And I'm going to put in here, I'm defining my array. Let me go ahead and spread this just a little bit. I've named it age. I'm creating a brand new array. And I've said Peter is going to have 20, Harry's going to have 14, John is going to have 45, and Clark's going to have 35. So what we're doing is I'm actually setting up an age array that's based on the age of these four individuals. And then what I want to do is I want to sort that array by the value and print it out to my screen. So let me go ahead and put my instruction there because that's actually what I want to do. I want That's going to be my instruction. That's what I want to accomplish. So I know that to sort it and to sort an associative array as we talked about in the presentation, we actually use what's called an A sort. So A sort's the name of the function. I bring in the name of the array. And then to print that out, obviously I'm going to do the same thing we've been doing. Print underscore R. 
open my parentheses and then I'm going to bring the age, the name of the array in there to print it to my screen. Close it with a semicolon. That should be all we have to do now to get the associative array in order based on the value inside the array. And again, this should be ascending order because we're using the A sort, not the AR sort, which would be the reverse order. So let's go ahead and save the change, refresh our browser window, and now you'll see we see Harry at 14, Peter at 20, Clark at 35, John at 45. Even though that's not the way they were entered in the array, the actual A sort function is performing that for us. If we wanted to do this exact same thing in descending order, I would just do AR sort for associative reverse sort on that age variable, save that change, update my browser, and now you'll see we start at 45, 35, 20, 14. So these are really handy functions that are built into PHP to allow us to do interesting things with these arrays. We looked at ascending and descending. Now let's look at sorting associative arrays in ascending order by the key. This we actually did by the value. We were actually sorting by this value. Now let's look at how we can sort arrays by the key in association. All right, so now let's look at how we can sort associative arrays in ascending order by their key. We've already looked at value. Now let's look at key. First thing we want to do, obviously, is going to open up my PHP tags. Again, I'm going to use the same file that we're using now. I'm just going to add a couple of lines in there to actually separate it for us. I'm going to bring in those echo statements just like I did in the previous exercise so that I can get some separation. And the first thing I want to do is define the array. I'm going to use the same array that we just used in this previous example. So I'm just going to come down right below this and paste it in. I've defined an array called age, giving Peter 20, Harry 14, John 45, Clark 35 just like we did in the previous example. And now I'm going to do my sort. By this time, I'm going to do the sort by the key, not by the um, by the value. So I'm actually going to copy that, bring it down, and I just need to change my note because I've got it array by value, and it's actually going to be by the key this time. And we can tell that because we're using the K sort and not the A sort. So let's save all those changes. Great time to pause if you want to type this in. Keep in mind, now we're sorting by the key. The key here is the actual name, not the actual, because of the 20, the numbers are the actual value, but the key is the actual name. So let's go ahead and save all those. Refresh our browser. And you'll see now that we've got Clark first, Harry second, John third, and Peter fourth. And again, alphabetically ascending. If I wanted these reversed, all I'd have to do is do KR sort, save that change, refresh my browser, and then it would sort them in the reverse order. So four very handy functions that we can use inside of PHP when we're sorting our arrays inside PHP. We have the sort, the R sort, the A sort, and the K sort. I mean, some very, very handy things that we can do, and both the A sort and the K sort can be done in a reverse order, as can the standard sort. We can actually do the R sort and the A sort standard sorts also for reverse and for ascending and descending. So I hope this explains some of the built-in functions inside PHP that we can use inside PHP for sorting arrays. Hope this answers any questions you may have, and I look forward to seeing you in our next tutorial.